Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the Collector, hope you're going good. We've been bloody busy, we've got some great stuff this week. Nice little uh, brass trench art, little Hudson, Australian sort of RAAF World War II bomber. I like the little brass door knocker over the backs of Ripper as well. Lovely big eastern silver necklace. Just a little Melbourne Olympics key ring from 1956. I like the little, what is it, Shepherd's Hotel Cairo, little ashtray. Sterling silver cigarette case, cool old ruler, which is a petrol um, dipping gauge or something from Sale Motor Garage, Motor Engineers and Sale. A few of details on it, cool thing. Nice gent Seiko diving watch over the back, a little sterling silver bonbon dish, a little oval window Volksy dinky toy as well. In those two little leatherette cases, a really nice little travelling um, mesk sort of kit, little little fold up knife and fork and stuff. And a couple of nice little sort of silver uh, plated little tumblers as well. This is nice. World War, oh, post World War II, 1955 aircraft ID model. Pretty cool little pair of the plastic Adidas running spikes. Love a little tin over the back. Little set of skateboard bearings. Some nice ephemera. Jewelry, jewelry. Little Jensen key ring. With another little sort of bit, little mid century sort of modern little metal figure there as well. Little Limoges miniature set in the box over the back's really sweet as well. Alright, we've got some nice little bits of furniture, nice little deco side table, auto trolley, little Dexter rocking chairs, cute, little deco smoker stand, with a lot of occasional furniture with a nice little light fitting as well. And these are nice, little sort of Chinese little wall lights with a little sort of pierced fretwork and stuff. A collection of ladies' bags, coins and currency. A little mixed group lot here of all sorts of stuff and some things. It's a good little lot of Lesneys, all in good nick. Aston Martins and Jags and stuff. A little lot of figures, Cloisonne, Wade, Whimsies in amongst there. A big lot of stereo gear. Big box of Star Wars men. Pottery, more Star Wars stuff. A couple of nice standard lamps here with their shades. Good boxes of records, China and gear. What else have we got? It's got some cool clothes this week. This is pretty amazing. The men's sort of 70s bowling shirt. Really cool colours. Hard Rock Cafe bomber jacket. Cool sort of ladies tweed coat. A karate top. It's Richard's karate top. There you go. Roman Newbacker Samurai. There's other cool sort of patches sewn on it. Red Dragons. What else have we got? This is cool as well, the Fender uh, shirt with all the sort of Stratocaster guitars. Fender label made in Korea. Cool little lot here as well of the sort of South American alpaca little sort of jumpers and coats and a couple of hats. Box of ladies shoes. Box of ladies clothing. There's some cool leather jackets and gear in amongst it. Another good Versace, another good designer gear. What else have we got? Star Wars stuff. This is a good big box lot. This heaps of Dark Horse, Star Wars, Dark Horse comics. And then you've got read-along cassettes, read-along records, figures, more comics attached to the figures, stickers. Kitchenalia. This is another good little lot of stereo gear. Oh, shit. And it's a good little ELAC German-made turntable with a good quality pair of Fisher speakers. Yeah, so we got tools, tools and phones, more stereo gear, peak speakers with some little Sansui components and some records with them as well. This is pretty cool, the big heavy sort of lamp base or something like that, off an old street light or something. Star Wars block mounted posters, cool little box of old car stuff, it's an old Holden tail light, looked like Pontiac steering wheel inserts. What else have we got? Military books and stuff, a couple of cool retro sort of stools, more Star Wars pictures, big railway light, superhero gear, there you go, Marvel Comics hero duo set, deodorant spray and shower gel, so you too can smell like the Hulk. Lawn bowls, backpack spray with a big set of scales, some cool retro sort of household gear. It's a good box lot of DVDs and stuff. What else have we got? Tools, generator. 
it goes down there with all those tools in the box. Two boxes sort of mixed stuff. McDonald's toys. We've got a big F-18 Hornet. There you go. Monster thing. Made out of all sort of balsa wood and stuff. This is all Star Wars apparel, hats, socks, jocks, ties, shirts. What else have we got? This is a big box full of Darth Maul stuff. Nice gear here. Lovely Gilbert American clock. Really nice little sort of 1930s lamp. With a lovely Art Deco Diana lamp. Really nice little um, sewing machine as well with all the sort of Egyptian motifs and stuff like that on it. Made for the Maya Emporium. This is pretty amazing as well. The big ECM Giotto, ECM sort of coffee machine, espresso machine. Really good quality thing. Uh, more Star Wars sort of gear, packaging. Pizza Hut boxes with Jar Jar Binks on them. What else have we got? Star Wars books. A little lot here of boxed die casts. What else have we got? Toys, footy gear. Cool little box of little lamps and radios and stuff. There's the hat that the bloody mask wore. You know, Jim Carrey. This is all our aeroplane stuff, model kits and die cast ones and sort of plans and instructions and stuff. Sort of blokey big group lot. These are a nice big lot. These are all the oil drums and stuff. More stereo gear. Tools, more Star Wars stuff. What else have we got? A lot of retro sort of gear, the curtains and some cool ladies' clothing in amongst. A little nest of retro cartel Anna Costelli design tables. A set of four of these bright red vinyl bar stools are pretty cool. China, glass crystal, vintage Star Wars stuff. There you go, Batman and Spawn and other stuff. Some retro gear with a nice little lamp. Tools, cars, marbles. Uh, what else? Skateboard table. This thing's cool as made out of all old wheels. It's an old Alva deck. All old sort of stickers and stuff on top. The little Vision Guns one there's a ripper. These are cool. All the old wheels, bullets and Veriflex ones and rat bones and stuff like that. Some of them have still got their bearings attached. They're yeah, cool. Great bit. Nice little retro table as well. More Star Wars stuff. I really like this. Little sort of arts and crafts, little sort of shelf. It's got inlaid designs on the side and on the top. Sure someone's been a little bit peckish and sort of had a nibble at this corner. But he's a nice thing. Lovely big Art Deco door with a glass panel. Nice little blackwood pedestal. Another sort of Art Deco entrance glass panel there to go into a door. Some nice paintings this week. A little Australian school watercolour. Just dated, 27th of the 1st, 1919. No signature. What else have we got? This is a nice big Ian Lewis oil painting. It's a Broken Hill artist. So we would have painted with pro art and those sort of guys. Really nice Central Australian landscape. Uh, who are these? these? I think it's someone Perry, Jill Perry or somebody like that. Judith Perry. Really nice big oil paintings. Big river scene here. And this one's quite nice with the sort of trees darkened in the foreground. Big John Borak watercolour. He's a ripper, sort of typical, just minimal, sort of modernist landscape. Nice little Louis Kahan as well, little ink and wash, Italian saint. This big abstract, sort of, I think it's Brazilian. Big abstract South American oil's cool. Star Wars Monopolies. Enid Blyton books. It's a cool little lot with the scales and the little sort of cauldron and the rest. These are great, the old 1970s sun visors. Spawn action figures in their boxes. Some cool Australian records. I think there's one that where you can win a Datsun 200B on a radio radio station. Um, this is a good little lot here of uh, Beatles singles and a great little retro sort of carry case. Surfing trading cards mint in their point of sale box. This is a cool little lot with a little sort of wind up Tommy Pac-Man. And they do work. It's hard to bloody wind them up with one hand though. There he goes. He's sort of going. <laughs> Star Trek first, uh, first 150 Years Federation. This is a talking Spock thing. Star Wars Action Fleet. 
So they're the top ones are the sort of design drawings and the bottom ones are the ones they eventually used. Kind of cool. Got a lot of Aboriginal gear, Albert Namajira prints, signed book by Geoffrey Blaney. Nice sort of uh, retro genie bottle. More Star Wars gear. Big lot of X-Files action figures, all mint packaged. It's a nice big lot of Australian pottery, mid-century sort of stuff. We've got some more gear coming up later on. Holden stuff, motor racing, model kits, wrestling figures in their boxes. you got some Chris Achilleos trading cards in their box. Good lot of blues records and other stuff in amongst. Beatles records. There you go, Chris Benoit wrestler. Mint packaged. Bit of a rare thing. Good little lot of records, psychedelic lollipop, blues magoos, the astronauts, the Bo Brummels. And these are cool as well, I like these. The Looney Tunes sort of Warner Brothers cartoon characters. <laughs> Wally Coyote and the Roadrunner. Nice a lot of Australian pottery teapots, they're all signed. What else have we got? Meccano, nice big didgeridoo, nice Seapic mask, a couple of really nice walking sticks. Star Wars Monopolies, Star Wars Lego, Star Wars Chess, a herd of heifalumps. Another nice lot of Australian pottery, nice mixed lot of glass. There, some Xena, warrior princess figures. Carltonware, glass, this is nice, the children's Christmas treat sort of money box. I like this lovely little door handle. Nice old brass gasolier arm as well. Star Wars bobbleheads. A couple more Star Wars guys, good old Dengar. Good lot of records. Bloody ice house in front. It's better stuff. Rattle and hum. Marsha Hines. Nina. There you go. Cool gear in there. Angels. Good lot of records. Nice sort of tribal gear. Some nice stuff here. Little ads head. And a nice little sort of grindstone. Uh, these are all vintage Star Wars books and records. Bit of Star Trek in amongst it as well. Another good lot of records there. Sort of rock and roll books. These are all Star Wars masks. Lightsabers and blasters. Heaps of Cuisinaire. Sets in their boxes. Good little lot of Kitchenalia. A little lot of sort of Continental, Danish and sort of other glass and ceramics. These are a nice little lot again. More sort of little travelling cups and jiffy slippers and a nice little sort of sunglass attachment. These are all mint carded Star Wars men in the wrong boxes again. They've all got C-3PO in the box. But none of them are C-3PO. Battenbeel made by Corgi. A couple of nice HO gauge trains. Some Olympic enameled glasses. More spawn figures. Some clone troopers. Cool old surfing book. Into the end cabinets. We've got some great stuff here. <coughs> kind of like these little handrails. Enameled signs. Enameled Bignall Street sign. It's a good little box of bits and bobs. You've got door sort of plates and... Handles and pushes and candle snuffers. A uh, good lot of records. Black Sabbath. So we've got Black Widow, Devo, and a bit of Deep Purple. Uh, Spawn action figures. A couple of nice lots of pottery. I think this is Malcolm Cook and Peter Laycock. This is a great little bit. The Charge for Use 2 pence telephone little box set. Full of coins. A couple of nice bits of pottery. One's Joe Sartori. Can't remember who the other one is. Uh, there's a nice little bits West German pot there with a the Braymore Carstens tray. Nice little bit of pottery here as well. I've forgotten who made this. Got a little stuff on the back though for us. A little Aboriginal kid asleep in a Coolamon. Tom Waits album. Greedo. Uh, David Potter, Australian pottery vase. Pretty cool. Like the little uh, biscuit jar. A couple of nice bits of Silha. A couple of Mint Box Star Wars blasters. MCP vase over the back, good bit of Australian mid-century, sort of got a slick yellow interior. There's a nice little Italian Warner Brothers character decanters. Some cool stuff in the end cabinet, guys. This is a great little bit, little sunbeam sort of mid-century clock. Some nice cash boxes, big Japanese exportware vase. Two volume set picturesque atlas of Australasia. Both got a little bit of damage on the spine. But they're nice big things, lovely big engraved plates and stuff throughout. This is a nice Dalton set here. I think the pattern is Harmony. Fowler flower jar. Noritake figure, Balik. John Gilbert vase. There's a bit of damage, but it's a nice bit of John Gilbert. 
This is nice as well, the Melbourne Centenary Boomerang, 1834-1934. Little wall pockets cute as well, it's just signed Geo on the back. A couple of bits of Ryan Tanton, big Vans, French sort of glass bowl. Lovely old Penfolds wine sort of sign, about 1910-1920. And what have we got here, some nice bits. Torquay wear over the back, the John Campbell. Uh, Wembley, Balik, really nice sterling silver hip flask. We've got some bloody nice stuff at the top shelf here as well. Dalton vase hand painted, signed by the artist. Uh, Costa Boda vase by Jell Engman. This is a lovely Pauline Delaney perfume bottle with the iridescent stopper. McRobinson's jar Fitzroy's a ripper. Greg Daly charger. Big art glass charger over the back is unsigned unfortunately. I reckon it's the best bit of glass here this week though. What else have we got? Gabrielle Bassotti, I think her name is. This is a good little ashtray, it's not marked. Lovely, another lovely bit of glasses with a big impress D. We think it's Denizen. Chris Sanders vase is nice over the back, dated 1976. This is a nice Derek Smith Australian pottery vase as well from the 70s. Uh, Maureen Williams, little perfume bottle. And this is a lovely bit, the Shigeo or Shiga Shigeo, Japanese and Australian potter. Lovely little footed bowl, it's in perfect condition. A couple of marks on the base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, Shiga Shigeo is the what's it worth this week as well. There's more stuff, but that'll do. It's going to be a good sale on Thursday night, guys. Hopefully you're here. It's going to be warm too.